Okay, we are on block four. This is the applique block. So this one is done with, I did mine with fusible applique with a buttonhole stitch around it, but you're certainly welcome to do any method you want. All the pieces that you've cut out for the block are large enough so that you can add a quarter inch seam allowance or whatever seam allowance you need to for needle turn or any other form of applique that you'd like to do. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I like to prep my pieces, my applique pieces. So. I have traced my pieces onto, so here is your master right here. These are the pieces that you'll need to do. And what I like to do is a very smart gal taught me once to take and take your master, put glue stick on the back of the pieces, and then put them down onto the template plastic, cutting it out so that you have your template plastic pieces with the paper on top. So the glue stick just holds it in place while you cut it out, and then you have your edges that you can trace. I then trace it to my fusible, my soft fuse. So this is what I like to use. It's the softest fusible web I found on the market. And each of these pieces are just placed right down and traced around it. So you need four flowers, four centers, eight leaves, and four stems. And that's good, the pieces are right on the paper. Once I've got those done, you largely cut them out. You don't cut them out on the line. You cut them out largely so that when we iron them down to our fabric, we will then kind of seal the edges when we trim them out. Okay, so after I've got all my pieces traced onto my soft fuse or your fusible web, whichever you like, I then take my pieces and I, I'm going to iron them to the wrong side of the fabric. Very important that you do the wrong side. I'm going to take and just hold that down, just put that down, count to like five, and it should be just fine. And so you have two of each of the accent four and accent two uh, flowers. Then we have our little circles. I gave you two pieces, uh, two squares that you could use, but you can actually get them both onto one if you choose to do so. So those are down for my centers of my blocks. So this one will be the center there, and this one will be the center there. And then for our stems and leaves, our dark green, which was accent six, these pieces can go right here. If you have any pieces of fusible web hanging over the edge, you want to make sure you use an applique pressing sheet so that you don't get it on the iron or the ironing board. And then I will take and do my other four leaves on accent six. And so now I just need to find time to sit down and cut them out. Yes, my girl. Now I have all my applique pieces cut out, and I'm now going to put them down onto my square. This is the 12 inch background square, and what you want to do with a square is quarter it. So I creased it this way, and then I creased it the other way to get my four quadrants. So that way I know I can place my pieces down in the four sections that they're supposed to be in. I will then take my fusible the paper off the back of my pieces and I will then be able to iron them down. I'm just going to lay them here right now to show you. So our little stems go underneath and then we have a light green and a dark green little leaf on both sides. And so we do that in each of the four areas. And then we will iron them down and then we will applique them using a um, in buttonhole stitch is what I used. You just kind of want to make sure that they all four look similar. I kind of put my little little noop up there so I have a hole there for the stem to go in. Put it under there like such. And then center your little pieces. And of course, I'll peel the paper off of all of these when I get them placed properly. And so they then we can have all the little pieces going in their little, as seen in the layout. 
that's on the diagram there. It's on the pa paper pattern there. So I think that went up just a little higher. Okay, now that we have all of our pieces fused on, as you can see, they're all fused down. Now we're ready to go to our triangles. You wanna make sure when you do fuse them down that you do leave at least a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside edge because we are going to sew our triangles to the sides of this block. Okay, so now that we have our applique all sewed on, we're ready to start making our corner units. And so we have a four inch square that we cut once diagonally and that's gonna give us our triangles that we're going to frame our pieces around. So we take our four inch, four and a half inch background square and we're gonna add our one and a half by six piece to the side as such. We're going to sew it on and then we're going to add our one and a half by nine inch piece. It's a little longer than it needs to be so you don't have to be quite as accurate with that one. But it's gonna sew on the side such as that. And then we're going to add our one and three quarter accent ones and our one and three quarter accent one nine, or nine and a half inch on this side. Once we have all that sewn on, magic of TV, we have this unit right here. And so this is what they will look like. All your units will look like this when we're done. Okay, so take a ruler and place again the 45 degree angle right on the outside edge and you're gonna line up the edge of the ruler even to the triangle end, the cut edge of the triangle. So 45 here and we're gonna cut here. And then we can turn the ruler around and do it again at this end if the ruler is not long enough. If you've got a long enough ruler, you don't have to flip it. So put the 45 there and we line it up even here and then we trim. Okay, so now that we have our triangles all trimmed, you have four of them, we're gonna take and we're gonna fold it in half, crease that center there, and we're gonna line the center of that to that center seam crease of our applique block. And we're going to then sew this on. We're gonna sew all four sides and then we will frame it. And then we have our block. I kind of forgot to mention that on each of your blocks, when you are done making the block itself, you need to add your framing strips, the two and a half by 16 and the two and a half by 21 or 20 inches, 20 and a half inches to the sides of the block to get it to be the right side. So as I've done here, I've sewn the shorter sides on first and then I did the longer strips to the top and bottom. You can do the applique at this point right here or you can wait and do it when you quilt the block, which is what I did on the original quilt. This one I applique down now and when I quilt it, I'll just stitch around the edges. But have fun with it and I enjoy the block.